Repeat after me. It is up to me and me alone to breathe new life into myself and therefore breathe new life into my goals. Hola, my beautiful lotus flowers. Welcome back or welcome to my channel. If you're into nerding out on everything astrology, spirituality, and self-transformation, this is a community for you. Today, we're talking all about self-love and self-care. And this is inspired by the fact that I recently fell into a slump of just not taking care of myself externally. And this video is not meant to be like, a materialistic shallow video that's focused on external factors but i will say that i learned through my own experience that focusing way too much on only the spiritual internal work that you do will lead you down another unbalanced path where you're no longer taking care of and have lost sight of who you want to be externally and that is equally just as important because we are humans in a physical vessel living here on a physical earth that we're meant to enjoy so i just want to put that out there that this is not again meant to be a shallow video and everybody's self-care journey will look different but this is personally how i got myself out of that slump and regained confidence in myself externally and empowered myself internally by doing so and you're probably thinking well marissa what was up with that intro at the beginning of the video so the reason that I wanted you to repeat after me that one affirmation is because a lot of times we find ourselves focusing too much on what's going on outside of ourselves and how everything going on externally is going to transform us internally. But honestly, if you are looking for some type of change, if you want to become more confident, more empowered, it is up to you and you alone to breathe new life into yourself. And that doing that is going to automatically breathe new life into any goals that you have set. Now let's dive into a little bit of the inspiration behind this video. I talk to you guys all the time about self-care practices and routines that may help your life spiritually. And although I tend to stick to my own internal self-development practices, somewhere along the line, I forgot that taking care of my well-being externally is equally as important. Ever since the you know what started in 2020, I realized that as I put myself under a microscope spiritually and did a ton of internal work, I lost sight of myself externally. And although I found healing and not feeling the need to wear so much makeup all the time, and I found myself being more confident in my natural skin, I unconsciously started to let that turn into laziness, where I started to just let myself go, which, in the end, doesn't feel good either. But the biggest realization I made was that I would do my visualization meditations and imagine my future self for the longest time, and I thought that the way I imagined myself externally was something that would just come with everything else that I visualized, but I was so wrong for thinking that way. I fully realized that part of getting what we visualize is by working on what we can control and leaving the rest to the universe. Yes, I was working hard at YouTube and whatnot, but I was no longer upkeeping myself externally and working towards that vision of myself in the future. The me that looks healthier, the me that is glowing, the me that dresses a certain way that I've always wanted to dress, etc. Those are all things I can start working on here and now, but I was simply tossing them aside. I want to take you guys through a little self-love journey I took myself on the last month or so in kind of a semi-vlog style video. These are some of the things that I did to begin cultivating that self-love for myself externally, as well as reinviting certain habits that boosted my internal confidence as well. So if you're interested in seeing that, keep watching. The first thing that I did was make the effort to go out to places that reignite my spark, motivate me, and keep me out of being too much of a hermit which can actually reinforce insecurities over time. This may not be the case for everyone, but cafes are 100% a motivational, productive space for me to not just do computer work, but to just hang out, read, and research. 
For the longest time, I was staying at home all the time to do my computer work, deeming it unnecessary to go out when I could simply stay at home, be in the same clothes I slept in and look like I just rolled out of bed while being quote unquote productive. But in fact, this just invited in more insecurity and especially laziness. I fell into this dread when it came to having to leave home for anything because I was practically always inside. So I had enough and I started forcing myself to go out to one of my favorite cafes to work and I haven't gone back since. Although sometimes I have to stay home, most of the time I have the natural urge to leave and go somewhere rather than feeling dread and avoiding going anywhere at all. Now it goes without saying that nature also has a way of reinvigorating all points of our energy. Every time I spend a healthy amount of time outside and in the sun, I not only feel more energized, but more confident. It might sound silly to correlate the sun's rays with confidence, but in fact, from a spiritual and scientific perspective, it makes perfect sense. Spiritually, the sun represents vitality, confidence, and self-expression. Scientifically, the sun provides vitamin D to our bodies, which has many benefits, but one being that it boosts your mood. So making more effort to get out of the house has naturally driven me to spend more time enjoying the sun and enjoying nature, which has in turn made me feel even happier, more motivated, and more confident. The second thing I decided to do was add more self-pampering back into my routine. And I need to emphasize the fact that this self-pampering is done by others. Now, obviously you don't need to do self pampering if you can't afford it and that is totally fine. You can do all this to yourself at the comfort of your home, but if you can have it done by others, I highly recommend it because it is a completely different luxurious experience if you have others do these things for you. So this part of the video I actually vlogged most of, so I'm going to go ahead and hand over the camera to vlog Marissa. <laughs> Hola everybody, so we are about to head out to my first nail appointment in literally forever. It has been so long, I don't even know the last time that I had a nail appointment. It was sometime before, you know, you know what started, but I love having my nails done because one, I'm lazy, and two, I, even though I'm lazy, I like to look nice like work smarter, not harder, but translate that into the way that I present myself. <laughs> so I really wanna start getting my nails done again. I don't know if I'll do it every month, but I do just, you know, just want I just wanna look nice. I'm tired of feeling like I'm just not taking care of myself um, externally. Like, I, I don't know. I just came to fully realize how important it is for me personally to take care of like my physical appearance. Um, and then after my nail appointment, we have a haircut planned. That's why my hair looks kind of weird because I washed it this morning, but I'm not even sure if you're like supposed to wash it the morning of your appointment. That's how long it's been since I've had a haircut. When I cut my hair from long to short, I did it. Oh, oh focus. <laughs> I did it myself with some of my partner's help. So I, yeah, that's why it's probably been looking a little bit not the best in my videos. <laughs> but I was like, you know what? I don't need somebody to cut it. I can do it myself. But no, that's not, I'm learning that that's not the mentality that we need to have. I don't know why I've been acting like I'm in survivor mode or something. I'm not. So so anywho, we're going to treat ourselves and get nails done and get this hair looking nice because I have not been liking how it looks and we need to fix that. We have arrived at the nail salon and I'm just gonna show you guys what my nails look like right now you can see I have little baby little baby nails <laughs> so I'm excited to see I'm nervous because I have been going to the same nail salon since I moved out here and um, 
they always did a really good job but I just felt like I wanted to try a new place because I haven't gone to the other place since before the you know what happened um, so I want to try a new place and they have really good reviews so and they look like they can do what I'm looking for so yeah <laughs> okay I got them done what do you guys think you know just uh let me show you guys my coffee what I'm drinking you know um, so <laughs> They look really, really nice. Well, I think they do. I usually got coffin shape back in the day, but I wanted to keep them shorter and more like natural. And I feel like almond shape is better for that. So um, I really like how they came out. They look really nice. And I feel like, I don't know. I feel like a woman again. I'm not saying your nails make you a woman, okay? I'm just saying I feel like a woman again. <laughs> now I really need to get gas because I'm on like 30 miles yeah so I need to get gas um, I still have quite a bit of time until my next appointment I have over an hour so yeah I don't know what I'm gonna do but I do need to get gas so let's go do that I still have plenty of time and the cafe that I always go to is in the area where the salon is that I'm getting my hair cut so I'm gonna pick up a fresh coffee because not gonna lie this leftover coffee is not tasting its best so Oh my gosh guys I love it so much and I love that it feels like I can just do whatever to my hair again because when it starts getting longer it starts to feel like it's always messy and to be honest unless you get super super layered like short hair I feel like short hair is less maintenance than long hair I don't know I don't know some people think differently but I mean long hair you can just let it flow but mine has like a weird like curl that it does that always makes it look messy so I personally like how this looks way better he curled it a little bit um, for me and I mean I won't be curling it usually um, but I did have him give me like a little like bang because I haven't had like a face framing bang in forever and I love it and oh my god I just love it it looks so cute it looks so cute just wait till I pair this with like cute makeup and everything because right now I'm looking a little shabby because one my period beat the heck out of my face with acne like I broke out so bad and I'm still like recovering you can see like all these breakouts that are drying up so ignore that but I pair it with cute makeup cute earrings cute outfit it's gonna look so good I love it though anyways anyways makes a big difference to get your hair cut professionally but back home we go I lied we didn't go straight home I stopped by Ulta because it's not far to pick up a new brow pencil um I'm picking this up because I sorry it's kind of blurry but <laughs> it's NYX um, micro brow pencil in ash brown I'm not sure if it's gonna be the right color for me because I've been using like eyeshadow that's like a warm brown but now that the orange is literally almost gone and my hair is almost completely my natural color I need a more neutral cool brown to match my hair <laughs> otherwise I'm gonna be looking now my eyebrows are really looking like orange against my brown hair so I had to get this because I couldn't be walking around with no orange brows <laughs> hello so today is April 19th and I just finished filming it's early in the morning it's like 9 a.m. now but I just finished filming because I have my facial at 11 so I'm very excited it's a facial and I'm gonna get my brows done so I'm gonna wash all this makeup off and get ready for that 
All right, here I am barefaced. I know the last time that I was talking to you guys, like two weeks ago, I was saying that my skin was going crazy because of my period. And even though my skin is still breaking out a lot more than it normally does, um, it did get better, but it's like I usually don't have this many active breakouts unless I'm near my period. So the fact that I'm still breaking out like crazy is interesting. Um, I have a lot of theories as to why. One of them definitely being stress. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah. This morning I was filming um, and I managed to get one video done, but um, I couldn't do my second video because my roommate woke up. And if you follow me on Instagram, if you don't already follow me on Instagram at Marissa LeBlue, but then you kind of know a little bit about like my roommate situation. Um, it's not the best, unfortunately. And I hate to talk to you guys about that because I know you guys don't want to hear like bad, like bad stuff stories or like bad energy and everything but I just want you guys to know one what's going on because it does affect my work production and then it affects my inspiration too but two I want to show you guys that you know life is definitely not always perfect um not for me not for anybody so you know it kind of helps I hope it gives you guys a little bit of like a look into reality even if sometimes I look like I'm just a really happy spiritual guru <laughs> it's still tough out here so um, I'm about to head into my appointment and talk to her about this uh, about this acne oh my goodness he's no good but I know my situation is causing me a lot of stress and I'm trying to keep myself from stressing but it's hard easier said than done at times for sure but yeah let's head into this this is the first facial I'm ever getting done so I am excited for that I know you guys are not gonna be able to see it in a video and my spots are looking extra red because boy those extractions were crazy so crazy so my skin is like way smoother though like oh my gosh if I gave you guys a close-up on my skin um, before I went in there whoa, it was yucky like I hadn't done anything to my face like on treatments in since I was like 15 and having the peak of my acne issues. So this was a much needed purge and you can tell my skin got purged because it is looking red, irritated. You see spots that are showing up and drying up. I'm starving. I had that, that appointment pretty early in the morning. So I'm gonna get some food because caf going to cafes to get food is just part of self-love, you know? If you want to see more self-development, spiritual, and astrological videos from me in the future, be sure you're hitting the like, subscribe, and the bell, so that way I know that you want to see those things from me in the future. And leave a comment down below about your own experience with self-love, and if you incorporate any of these self-care practices into your own routine, I love to know. Let's talk about it. The third thing I made sure to do was revisit my routine and what works for me. Now I had fallen into a hamster wheel of doing the same things over and over, thinking that the things I was doing still resonated with me, but we are always changing. Therefore, we need to have frequent meetings with ourselves to see if our life still meets our wants and needs. I didn't realize how much my body had changed from when I was 19 years old and I am now 27. So it goes without saying that my body has probably changed a lot. But because I have been in this kind of cycle of like working really hard and trying to, you know, start my own career path and all of this other stuff and just kind of been living a crazy roller coaster ride of a life, I kind of put health to the back burner. And this isn't to say that I didn't have the best intentions for my body because I 100% like to pay attention to what I put in my body and I do try to focus on eating healthier and eating more whole foods, but, but the problem was is that I was eating way too much for what I needed. I no longer needed that much food. The same amount of food and the same dietary practices that I had when I was 19 no longer apply. But I didn't really realize that because again, I was just kind of automatically following this cycle of what I knew and how I always ate. 
And I thought that was fine as long as I was being healthy for the most part. And the reason I say for the most part is because I can't completely act like I'm an angel. Um, I would cheat. I don't really like that word, but I would cheat uh, more often than I should eating very high sodium foods more often than I should. And we are kind of raised to think that eating like bad maybe once a week a couple times a week or whatever is not bad but that still accumulates and that is still really bad for your body so i had to realize that i was able to do that when i was in my lower 20s but now i'm i can't do that it's not good it's not good for you in your lower 20s either but it was starting to show much more it was starting to my body was more inflamed I felt really uncomfortable, like a lot more bloated a lot of the time um, because I was just eating too much and having too much sodium also. The biggest thing for me is that I started to not like anything I was wearing. And I don't want to make this so focused on the physical aspect of losing weight because that can be one, very triggering for people, but two, that's not the message that I'm trying to send. But I could feel and see how unhealthy I was and I did not like that for myself because I knew I knew that I deserve to feel healthy and energized and confident and I wasn't feeling that way because everything that I put on felt a little too snug it felt like it just felt uncomfortable like it felt like I didn't really want to be seen I didn't feel healthy and that's the biggest thing is that I didn't feel healthy and I remember looking up what overweight is for my height and I was only a few pounds away from being considered technically overweight and I was like no nope that is unhealthy that is not okay I deserve more than that and the future self again I mentioned my future self earlier at the intro of the video my future self that I visualize is healthy and confident and fit and happy and glowing. And those things don't come by not paying attention to how I eat and what I eat and not making sure that I am healthy and vibrant. That abundant energy that my future self channels needs to be channeled now through how I take care of myself. I'm sorry to say it, but if any of you let yourself go the harsh truth is that it shows that you have a immense lack of respect for yourself. And that's what I realized I had was I was lacking self-respect. Fast forward to now, and I'm currently at about nine pounds lost, which is awesome and I'm so proud of myself. But again, this is not about the pounds. It is everything about how I feel, about how I feel health-wise, how I feel confidence-wise, it has all done a complete 360 and I am so proud of myself. And the biggest thing that I did, cause I always, I went to the gym for like months at a time and everything, but my body wouldn't change that much. I would notice it feeling stronger and I would notice it leaning out a bit, but I would still feel puffy and uncomfortable. And that's because I finally focused in on how I eat my lifestyle habits when it comes to eating. I focused on what I eat, eating primarily whole foods and being more strict on myself in regards to eating whole foods. I made sure that I was watching how much I eat. I was really paying attention to my intake and my outtake, um, how much food is too much, how much food is too little. I really got to learn about what my portions are and now I kind of just know how much I need to eat every day because I built that relationship with my body. I also would pay really close attention to how something would make me feel. And the more that you focus on how you're eating and what you're eating, it's easier to recognize when something is out of place. It's easier to recognize when something upsets your stomach, when you feel bloated because you're just paying attention. And although I'm still learning and the body is always changing, always evolving, and it always needs constant learning, for me, this has boosted my internal and external confidence so much and I just feel that much closer to who it is that I'm becoming. The fourth thing I did was update my style. 
And this can be intertwined with the weight loss that I just mentioned because for a while I started a Pinterest board of fashion inspiration, ways that I imagined my future self dressing and feeling empowered, but I didn't act on trying to achieve any of those styles because I already felt so uncomfortable and unhealthy. I knew I had to work on my relationship with my body or else clothes wouldn't make me feel any better. It would only temporarily patch up what I was feeling and I probably wouldn't like how those clothes would look on me at that time. But once I started feeling healthier, I decided to order some basic pieces that I could still be comfy in, but that I could elevate and look more put together at the same time. Instead of opting for baggy, lifeless clothes all the time, making a little effort to wear something more put together has made me feel even more motivated to do everything. It makes me want to be outside. It makes me want to make the day productive. It makes me feel like a boss, but most importantly, it makes me feel so much more connected to my higher self and the best version of me. Again, what I don't want you to take from this video is that you need to be absorbed in the material world and your physical appearance in order to be happy and confident. What I do want you to take from this video is that everything in life is about balance and Whatever people tell you, it is important to nurture and care for this physical vessel that we were given, whatever way feels best for us to do so. In saying that, I want to emphasize the fact that doing so does not make you less spiritual in any way. Spirituality shows up in many different ways. You do not need to refrain from shaving, have certain hairstyles or certain clothes, have a certain diet, etc. Those are just a few ways that people choose to invigorate their own spiritual expression, but it does not mean that it is what's necessary. Take it from me, who went very deep spiritually and lost myself physically. Everything is a balance. Teetering too far on one side only causes you to lose touch with the other side. When both sides are very much necessary to our existence and our fulfillment. Once again, if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell. And leave a comment down below letting me know your thoughts and your own self-love journey. Whatever is going through your mind, I'd love to talk to you about it in the comments. And you can also head over to the LeBleu Lotus Facebook community where we talk more about using astrology and spirituality for self-transformation. And if you want a more personal side of my journey here on the internet, you want to participate in more polls, have bonus content, etc. You can head to my Instagram at Marissa LeBleu. And until I release a new video, you can watch these ones. That'll help you so much more on your astrological and spiritual journey. Until I see you next time, thank you so much for being here. Adios.